right, welcome back to the blend. Pretty soon, teachers will be telling kids, welcome back to school, right? Just a couple days away, a couple weeks. This morning, right. Heller Wickard is back with uh, some back-to-school breakfast that are easy, and you can make them ahead of time. That's and right. They smell delicious. Yeah, they look delicious. delicious. And they're good for you. So that's a good thing. <laughs> so tell us, what are you making here first? Well, Let's actually, today I'm making a breakfast burrito. It's uh -huh. really, really simple. So, mm -hmm, yeah. We all know that breakfast is the most important part of the day. And usually that's the meal that we skip. Mm -hmm. So to save the rush and the stress in the morning, getting the kids ready for school, these are some really great, easy recipes that you can make ahead of time, stick in the freezer, and pop in the microwave for a minute or two okay. before school or before you leave for work and they're ready to go. So in fact, you actually already kind of cooked, this is sausage, uh, this uh, is breakfast. turkey sausage. Turkey sausage, Yeah. Okay. So, so you've you already cooked that and you just yeah. kind of warmed it up. You can do it with any kind of sausage, actually. If you okay. want it spicy, you can do it with chorizo sausage or just regular pork sausage, but I like turkey sausage. And then you're just gonna take um, some eggs, mm -hmm. a little bit of milk, salt and pepper, and just once the turkey sausage is brown, it's gonna tip it right in the Okay. Right in the pan. I'm gonna stick this under here. Go ahead. Hey, get it out of the way. And then this is just gonna cook through. And this is what you do that morning? No, we do no. this. I do this ahead of time. You so do this at night, maybe the night before. The night before, or, or even you? like the week. You can do it once a week if you've got a spare hour or so on the weekend, mm -hmm. or you know, if you want to make a big batch, you could do it once a month. Okay. And um, just make up a huge batch. And that and then, will all stay good in the freezer? Yeah, it all stays great in the freezer, and it um, heats up in about a, a minute to two minutes in the mm -hmm. microwave in the morning. So it's just really, really convenient when you're running around trying to get everybody ready for school, mm -hmm. or even if you don't have kids, you know, just trying to get ready for work is kind of a stressful thing to do. So um, yeah. it's just nice to be able to have something you can grab, and if you have to eat it in the car on the way to work, then you can do that. And yeah. Helen, you know this. We're going to show a picture of your beautiful family. There, there they you are. are. With your four uh, beautiful children They're and your my husband. great kids, yes. So are we ready to go back to school? We, or what we are, are ready to go back to school. And actually, I don't know if I've told you this, but I homeschool my kids. Oh, okay. So, so even this is kind of year round. It is, but even for homeschooling moms uh -huh. like myself, I try to stick to a really um, solid schedule and uh -huh. routine with the kids. So it's kind of the same for me just to be able to get up and throw something in the microwave that's not processed or yeah you know so well and so many of these meals I know are they're popular right now in the freezer section right but sometimes the size isn't as good and uh -huh. they're pretty unhealthy you don't know what's in them so right. at least doing it yourself you know what goes into them you can control the salt you can control the fat you can control really the the ingredients that you put in them so I think it's great, and they, they taste better. Mm -hmm. I mean, Absolutely. homemade always tastes better, I think. Yes, it so, does. So with this, now this is just about done. And again, all this is is the sausage. You use the turkey sausage. I use just bulk turkey sausage. Egg, a little bit of milk, mm -hmm. and then salt and pepper. Just like you would make scrambled eggs. Uh -huh. Yep, and then we're going to yeah, put it in the there. Just like that. There yeah. you go. <laughs> brown the, you brown the turkey meat. Okay. So it's nice and... Nice We're and gonna golden. put these recipes on our website. Uh -huh, uh, yes. By the way, Fox Four okay. Morning Blend dot com. And yep. you can okay. Those. Okay. So those and are ready to go. And then to assemble them, then you just take about half a cup. Okay. okay. I'm not gonna spill it all over the place. That's all right. Oops. We can clean it. Half a half cup of the mixture in here. Okay. Okay. And this what down kind a of? Bit. What are you? Uh, these are whole wheat tortillas. Okay. So a these are much healthier. much healthier than the the white ones. And with all the good stuff inside, my kids will, will eat these. So a little bit of cheese on top. Is that just cheddar cheese? Just cheddar cheese, any kind of cheese, your favorite cheese. A little bit of salsa. And then we're going to wrap it up like a burrito one side. Roll it up like this. And then just yeah. wrap it. Let them cool for a little bit. Wrap them in um, saran wrap and okay. then stick them in the freezer. Okay, wow. And so that's now, that. how many do you, I mean, this will make a lot. That's this, gonna... Yeah, the full recipe, it's like a dozen eggs and it'll make about 24 um, taco size burritos mm -hmm. you could if you've got high school kids or a hungry husband you know leaving early for work <laughs> like I do you can make them on the burrito size ones too uh -huh. so they they go really good and this is actually what you freeze yep that whole thing you, you just what do you freeze them in? in do you like to put them in ziploc bags yeah wrap it in saran actual... wrap so it's nice and airtight and then put it in the ziploc bags okay so great yeah we also want to mention that uh, these delicious pancakes here you have some muffins. yeah these are what did you put in those options. pancakes because we wanted these to mention those apple, as well apple cinnamon pancakes and what's great about these is they taste really good because of the apple and the cinnamon but they're half whole wheat flour and half white so you get that little bit extra healthy um, flour without drying them up and then I also put flaxseed in there which is a great uh, 
a great addition to mm -hmm. any kind of a breakfast. It's really good for you, and your kids won't even know it's there. Yeah. So they'll eat it. Um, banana, oat, um, muffins, which are, they take about five minutes to put together and about 20 minutes to cook, so mm -hmm. really, really fast, and they freeze really good. And then another thing, too, is that I do for the kids sometimes is a fruit smoothie. And when we go to dinner, we get a lot of these uh, uh -huh. to-go cups, and if you make the smoothies up in here, put the lid on, pop them in the freezer, and then the night before, put them in the fridge, they're all thawed out and ready to go. Just put a straw in and... And do you freeze pancakes? Is that yes, something you can yes. So you, you go ahead and make them and then Make a big them. batch and then um, put wax paper in between each one and then stick them in a Ziploc bag in the freezer and then they pull apart really easily. Good idea. Yeah. All right. So well, thank you so there you much. Go. No I excuse appreciate for not it. eating breakfast in the morning. All right. If you would like to be a member of our Mom Squad, like Miss Helen here, just send us an email to momsquad at fox4morningblend.com. I love that. Put a little extra flax seed in mine for me, will you? Yeah. Go 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 heavy on the on the on the tip. All right, moms and dads, you're gonna like this one. A new program for kids for free this fall. The sign up is coming up this Saturday. Details on that. And Jamie Cagle fills in the blanks of the Fox forecast for this first week in August. Amy with the headlines, and then the blend is back with news parents wanting.